The Boys from Biloxi is a history of two men's lives written by John Grisham. It begins in the 1950s, when the two men's greatest delight in life was playing baseball together, and continues through their respective careers. One of them went on to become a successful businessman and attorney, while the other ran multiple nightclubs where underage gambling and prostitution were common practices. Jesse Rudy and Hugh Malco, along with the other club owners, got into a fight since it was inevitable that they would eventually come into conflict with one another. The Boys from Biloxi is a sprawling narrative that is abundant in history and features a big cast of people that will stay in your memory for a long time. In this novel, the very existence of life is in jeopardy. The beaches, resorts, and seafood industry of Biloxi were what brought the city its fame for the better part of the last century. But it has a darker side. It was also infamous for its rampant corruption and depravity, which included everything from contract killings to gambling, prostitution, smuggling alcohol and drugs, and even bootlegging. There was a tiny group of mobsters, many of whom were reported to be members of the Dixie Mafia, who exercised control over the vice. Hugh Malco and Keith Rudy both grew up in Biloxi during the 60s. They were boyhood friends and both were Little League All-Stars during their time in Biloxi. But when they were teenagers, their lives began to diverge in quite different ways. The legacy of Keith's father is that he became a famous prosecutor who worked hard to clean up the coast. Hugh's father rose through the ranks of the criminal underworld of Biloxi to become known as the boss. Following in his father's footsteps, Keith earned his law degree and became a lawyer. Hugh favored the nightlife and worked in his father's clubs during his teenage years. A confrontation between the two families was forthcoming, and it was going to take place in a legal setting. There is a missed opportunity here for the author John Grisham to demonstrate more of the acts that his characters carry out as opposed to telling the readers about them. The plot itself is actually extremely interesting, it is a multi-generational drama that follows two families over almost 60 years of the history of coastal Mississippi. The journey to get there, though, which spans over 500 pages and has been compared by readers more to an investigative factual work than a legal fictional thriller, can be a bit of a slog in reality.